Welcome back to another video. And today we're going to be looking at the Mitsubishi Tritons that we bought. As you know, we bought two Mitsubishi Tritons at auction. Uh, we are all in for these cars for about 18500 And the goal for these two cars is either clean them up and use them as rentals or fix them up and flip them and make some money. Um, either or, I wasn't really phased with. I think the avenue we're going to take is to fix them up, flip them and make some money. And one of the cars we're going to show you today is almost there. Now, one of these cars is this one, the Mitsubishi Triton. It's a 2015 4x2, and I'm all in for this car for about 9,700. So far, I've only had to detail the stickers, clean the stickers off, which isn't a costly experience, but it's a time-consuming experience. It took a lot of time to heat gun, scrape the sticker off, and then get the residue off, and then I have to cut polish and do everything to get the clean car detailed and up to spec. Now, I've also had to replace the tires. Tires on this, as you know, we own a tire shop, so that's pretty handy. Um, the tires on this at cost were about 450. Um, so now I'm up to 450, 95, 97. So I'm up to 10 and a half. Um, and then Rego and stamp duty was about 700 bucks for six months. So let's say 75, 1300. So I'm in this for 11,000 now. A bit more than I really would have hoped, but. I did have a pending sale to one of my guys for 13. He's pulled the pin, so the next best offer is gonna to be to put it online and see if we can uh, flip this thing for some serious money. I'm thinking advertising around 15 and a half, 16, with a goal of a sale price of around 15K. And that's a pretty good profit for a week or so's work. Now, as you can see, like I said, the stickers are gone. I do have to wash this one again. But I pulled the stickers off got the residue off, buffed it all off. It's looking really sharp. It's got a nice little shine to it now. I still have to do the plastic trims, trim it up a little bit, and also still have to do some buffing on the front to finish off here. You can see I've done some cut and polish, but not the other half here. So I've still got some work to do through here. I want to tidy up the headlights as well, and just finish it off with some trim and tidy up around the edges, but new tires, the main two pieces are gone, the signage is gone. Uh, it's a big long tray. I am gonna have to redo that window tint as well. I've got a friend of mine who does window tinting, so that's not gonna be a massive issue. So I can get that done. And the other issue is the front windscreen's got a crack. See a little crack there. So I'm gonna put a new windscreen in as well. So I'm gonna deal with a friend of mine where we do some work for him and he'll do some work for us. So no real expense is going to be used there. Uh, inside, I'm just going to whack some seat covers on. The rest of the car is nice and tidy. As you can see, 121,231 Ks. Uh, manual, which is going to make it a bit more difficult to sell, but generally if you're buying a ute like this, uh, you're going to want a manual anyway. And uh, yeah, tidy, rubber mats, aircon system. Where's the key? Here we go. Starts up well, car's in good nick. We might actually take it for a drive today and say from a ute perspective, I drive a 4x2 Hilux. God love on the old Luxie. They'll last you forever, but uh, I've got to say the Triton uh, really revs really hard through the gears. A bit hot in here, I'll wipe some of that sweat off. Yeah, the Triton revs really hard through gears, so I don't know if it's the engine isn't powerful, maybe it's, I believe it's a Mitsubishi Lancer engine. It shares the same engine as that which, as you know, isn't the most powerful vehicle in the world. But um, I'll take you through the gears and we'll uh, take this bad boy for a ride. Now, before we take the 2015 Triton for a run, I'm gonna show you the 2017 Triton and see how far we've actually come. So, as you can see, the 2017, still got some work to do on the stickers here. Uh, we've been chipping away, again, heat gun and plastic scraper scraped it off. Uh, this one's been a little bit easier because it's a bit newer. It hasn't been out in the sun as long. Um, and then the residue has just been wiping off with some eucalyptus oil um, concentrate. Actually just wipes off pretty straightforward. Um, and then this one just needs a cut polish uh, detail. Uh, it's already got new tires on it, so we don't have to do anything with the tires. It's got the Bridgestone D697s. Um, again, we'll have to register it. Uh, fix up a little bit of paintwork, which a friend of mine does, 
He's got a paint shop, so that's nice and handy. Um, and then this one will go for sale for about 22, I think. Uh, it's got the toolboxes on the back as well. So having those toolboxes ready to go, it's tradey ready essentially. Um, so this one should go pretty quick. The market for these is about 20 to 24K. Um, so judging by that, I think it'll go around that 20 mark. Uh, again, still some work to do on the stickers here. Uh, slowly getting through it, but leading up to Easter, I just haven't had the time to be honest. So I've got a few days off now. I'm gonna chip away at it and, um, and get this thing ready. So let's take this 2015 for a drive. Let's see what's got. So let's take this thing for a uh, quick drive around. Oh, that's a bit better, a bit brighter outside. Go in there. Ah. So if we take this thing for a drive, we're just gonna have a look and see the actual revs on the car, it's actually quite strange to, uh, to drive. Revs are really, really high. We'll just take it for a lap around the block. But the camera's on the dash, and I don't... Oop. That camera ain't gonna stay there for too long. Some of these little purple scooter dudes running around. Very high revs for not a lot of action. Just go here, first gear. So first gear. Just revs really, really high. Second. Then third. Definitely doesn't have the power of other 4x2 utes, that's for sure. Makes me think it's got that Mitsubishi Lancer engine that Small little 1.8, maybe, I'm not sure. I'll have to do some research and see what engine it actually has, but... There's a lot of revving with not much action, that's for sure. So there we have it, the Mitsubishi Triton. Uh, 4x2 alloy tray. It's gonna tick a lot of boxes for someone uh, in their work journey, um, whether it's a uh, somebody who just needs a little run around or someone who needs a work Ute uh, to tick that box. Uh, good Ute, low Ks, new tires, nearly freshly serviced, freshly detailed. Uh, I think we should get that 15K mark for this vehicle, but time will tell and I will keep you posted.